We've got a pretty clear radar right now, but that's not going to be the case throughout the remainder of our Monday. We're just seeing some cloud cover continue to make its way across southern Wisconsin, and you can see to our north some thunderstorms rolling through the Eau Claire area. That could be us coming up here in just a few hours as we're tracking the potential for some isolated storms this morning that could bring small hail and a greater severe chance coming this afternoon and this evening. Because of that, most of the state under a level three out of five risk. That's the orange on your screen. Green, but you can see this bullseye right over the lacrosse area in red. That's a level four out of five risk from the Storm Prediction Center of severe weather for your Monday. Now, one thing to take note of is that they did move this threat just up a little bit. So Southern Grant County, Lafayette County, Iowa, and most of Dane County now in a level three out of five instead of four out of five. But you should not take this as the Storm Prediction Center backing off on their forecast. We're getting closer to the event and they're able to narrow down where those conditions are the most likely for severe your weather. If anything, if you're in this red on your screen, you should be taking it more seriously as this is now a higher confirmation that this is the area that we're most likely to see severe weather throughout our afternoon and our evening. That's due to a couple of factors. We're seeing environmental conditions that are prime for severe weather, one of which is going to be our temperatures. We're starting off this morning mild in the 50s across southern Wisconsin with 51 degrees right now in Madison, 56 in Platteville, 57 right now in Lone Rock, and in 60s in La Cross, 61 degrees right now in the La Crosse area. We're all going to continue to see these temperatures warm throughout the day up towards the 80s in some areas along the Illinois state line. Platteville, Monroe and Janesville getting up to 81, 82 degrees. Madison area up to 78, even Camp Douglas and Montello areas getting 77 degrees to our high for your Monday. So we're all going to be warming up. That's helping create some instability in the atmosphere along with some moisture that we're going to be adding. We're really going to see some prime conditions for severe weather, especially in the afternoon and evening. The question remains to be if we can get any storms initiated and if we can get some going and get some fired up, that's when we're going to see some rapid intensification. If we see things pop up, it is likely that they will turn severe throughout this morning. We stand to see the possibility of some isolated storms making their way through. We're not really tracking any severe threat for your Monday morning, but small hail still possible. Something to keep an eye out for on your way into work. This this morning. As we make our way through the later morning hours, we'll continue to see some isolated showers in some areas. Others not really going to get much rain throughout this morning and some models showing the chances for some stronger cells in our early afternoon, such as this one here, showing some strong cells to the western areas right around one o'clock. But other models not showing much for the early afternoon hours. Some areas are going to stay clear. Even this model showing clear or skies by the time that we reach around three, four o'clock. So that's something to keep in mind is that there is a lot of uncertainty as to whether or not these storms will actually get fired up. The thing is, is that if they do get going, that's when we stand to see things intensify to the severe weather. The greatest chance that we're seeing for the severe weather is going to come towards those later afternoon and evening hours with these stronger lines of storms making their way through. This is where we're tracking the potential for hail, strong winds and tornadoes across southern Wisconsin. So overall, your largest threat for severe weather stretching from 2 p.m. this afternoon all the way until 1 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. We're tracking strong winds, large hail and again the possibility for tornadoes. So it's a great day to remain weather aware. Make sure you know what's going on so that if these storms do pop up and start to rapidly intensify, you've got a plan on how to stay safe and you know where to go. Again, and for today, getting warm, that's one of those ingredients that's helping prime the atmosphere for some severe weather with 78 degrees are high for today, but tomorrow looking calmer and cooler with a high of 64.